Uh, what's it been like playing for Coach McDaniels? Um, honestly, my experience has been great. You know, I feel like every time you get a new coach in, there's new expectations. And I feel like it definitely takes time to adjust, you know, as a whole. Like, if you're halfway in, halfway out, you're not going to last in, in the way he coaches. Like, he has a very specific way that he wants things to be done. He's all about work ethic, all about doing the extra mile. Like, that's how he approaches it. And I, like, like we talked about off camera, like, me and him, we've had a great relationship ever since I got here. The dude, that's how I think when it comes to training and stuff. I'm always doing extra. I'm always, so it's nothing new to me when it comes to that. Um, but like I said, if you're a guy that's, you know, the normal NFL guy, you're not, they're not training all off season. You know what I mean? It's just, they're doing it. They're, it's like, it's hard. It's, it's not like a normal NFL team. Like, it's just, it's just different. You're talking about the way he, the way he runs the operation? Yeah, just the operation. Like, we're really working, bro. Like, even during the season, like, we're in pa we were in pads, like, late in the season at some I've heard there's some tough days. Yeah, there's some I, I, tough days, but, like, that's just, that's what it is. Like, days. you know what I mean? You can bitch and complain about it, or you can show up and fucking improve and get better. And especially in our situation, like, bro, we're 6-11, and 11, but, like, we lost – we were in every single game, basically, besides New Orleans. Like, we lost every game by, like, less than a touchdown. So, we're right there. And that's the probably the hardest part about it is, like, fuck, we're right there. But we have great building blocks on this team. You know, we have Devontae. We have Josh Jacobs. We have a ton of guys. It's just we're not there yet. But I feel like we're definitely, like, on our way. Like, it, if things go our way, you know what I mean, this year, like, we could have easily been a double digit. We could have won 10 games easily. But – that's not the reality. Shit didn't, you know, last year we won every single close game. And that's the toughest thing about it. It's like you can either, either overthink it and, you know, dwell on it and bitch about it. But we went 6-11. and 11. That's our record. It's fucking, it's not acceptable. But I feel like Josh, is a, as a coach, he's, he's done a really good job for sure. Um, go ahead. No, he just seems like a, yeah, because this is like, this is not meant to be a shot. This is just like an, ob an observation. Like the yeah. Raiders, like, really underperform for based on that you guys have an incredible amount of talent on that team yeah and so how do you obviously without overthinking it what are the what are the little things here and there that you guys lose by losing by seven you can now win by three like yeah. what are those little changes i think you know i've talked about this already um but it's like for me it's the standard like holding guys to there there has to be a, a, a standard set it can't just be you show up to practice you do the plays we're not going over, we're not sitting here and, you know, you should watch the film and everybody should be graded, you know, are we really running to the ball? Like little shit like that, I feel, and that's just how I, I have an old school mindset when it comes to that, like just the little details of running to the ball, loafs, like the shit we talk about, like that's, that's what I think is the difference, you know, at the end of the day, like if the, if the standard is not set, in the off season and OTAs and shit like that, it's never, you're never going to go on the field and everybody's, I'm gonna be on the same page. It's just yeah. not reality, and that's where I feel like, you know, last year or the year before, like when you were there, like that's we got to that point at the end of the year. Like everybody was playing for each other, and that's the new thing. Like, and it's not like it's McDaniel's fault or anything. Like everything's new, so it does take time, and that's you know something as a leader. Like that's what I feel like I need to you know take another step. You know, as a leader, and being a captain, like that's something I'm really focused on is building. You know, bringing up the other guys, the guys that really want to be. You know really want to be great and be a difference maker not just another guy on the roster to fill out a spot like that's that's what we need you know I, I feel like like you said we have the talent in big spots but like we do have a lot of things we got to improve on like you know our d-line wasn't good enough our our defense in general wasn't good enough as a whole like it wasn't we did not play to what i you know believe the standard should be you know we played we rushed a lot better the year before um, we covered better, you know, there's, there's little things that we got to improve on. So, um, you know, that's, and it's a, it's a group effort, you know, it's got to take everybody. And, um, you know, I feel like we're definitely going in that direction. The second half of the season, we played a lot better on defense, but that's just the tough part about it. You can go back and forth and, you know, we lost close games, but like either way we lost like, and that's at the end of the day, six and 11, six and 11 is fucking terrible. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I believe in them. I believe that, you know, we're going to keep building up the roster in a lot of key spots and, you know, just keep going in the right direction. But the main thing for me is a standard, bro. Like, we have to have a standard and there, there can't be guys that are halfway in, halfway out because you know how it is. You have fucking nine guys on the same page and two are halfway out the door. 
is never going to work. So yeah. Do you feel like go. Do you feel like that's what it was? The standard wasn't held the entire year because a lot of the the talks and the headlines and the conversations was, you know, last year we ended up winning like the last five games. Yeah. And then you go in, you think you're going to build off. You have a new regime come in. Of course, yeah. it does take time. Um, but then putting the year that you guys did put together, you keep alluding to the standard and everything else and yeah. half in, half out. Do you feel like it was upholding that standard if you when you do look at it? Yeah, I, I feel – and like you said, like we talked about, it's not easy. You know, the way, the way of, you know, how Coach McDaniels does it is not easy. We're working hard. Like, bro, we're in training camp. It's fucking 100 degrees out. We're on the field. <laughs> like, we're not practicing at 7 in the morning. Like, we're practicing like 10. Like, that shit, it's hot, bro. Like, people are <laughs> dying. And then we're running gassers at the end. Like, it's not a joke. Like, yeah, that yeah. desert heat. Bro, that it's desert, a, that unreal. real heat. And so, that's my point. Like, as a player, like, I pride myself on my routine about doing it every day, no matter if I'm in a bad mood or if I'm feeling like shit. Like, showing up and trying to improve regardless of how I feel. And I feel like we didn't have enough um, of that this year. Just we didn't sustain it for a whole season. Like you can do it in camp. You can do it in OTAs for the first couple of months, but it's like we need a bunch of guys who are down or are willing to sacrifice the whole year and be on be on point. And um, you know that's you know that's just a part of it. Where you know I feel like we're gonna bring in more guys that are like minded, and you know I just I'm trusting it. You know I'm, it's not my control. I'm just you know I just want to be a leader. You know that's that's my main goal: lead the guys, bring up the younger guys, and, and show them the way. So. 